Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Smoking. On today's episode, I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I test the temperature that my thermometer is showing. Uh, so on most consumer level thermometers, you can't really adjust how it reads. Um, but I wanted to show you how I look to see how off it is on temperature. And with that information, I know that when I cook, how much it's off. So today I'm going to use the boiling water method and uh, I'll just bring you along and show you how I do it. Let's get started. So while we wait for the water to boil there, I wanted to show you the thermometer that I use. So this is the Thermapro. Uh, this is one that I got on Amazon. Um, it's actually pretty decent and it's out of battery. Nope, it's not out of battery. So here it is, it does, um, you know, Celsius. And Fahrenheit, obviously, as you can tell, it's very, very hot here in Miami. So, you know, it's, you know, your typical uh, thermometer. So we're going to check to see how off this is. So one important thing that you have to figure out, um, depending on where you live, the temperature that water boils is actually different, right? So here in Miami, and I'll show you how I do that uh, later on on the computer. Um, so here in Miami, we, you know, we're pretty much at, um, you know, we have almost no elevation. Um, so water boils at a normal 212 degrees. Um, but if you are, you know, somewhere, let's say like Denver, uh, your water actually boils at a lower level. So, and I'll show you how to do it. It's, it's not that difficult how to figure that out. Uh, so check that first and then you know what your water should be boiling at. Nothing more exciting than waiting for water to boil. Come on, let's go. All right, so we've got water boiling. So we're gonna get the thermometer. We're gonna put it on there. We're gonna see what it reads. All right, now when you're doing this, make sure that it's not touching the bottom of the pan or whatever you're using because that spot's going to be a lot hotter obviously so let's see so this one is reading so we know that it should be 212 degrees this one is reading 214 215 so we know that this thermometer reads about two degrees two to three degrees too high Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how it is that I uh, that we can check what the temperature of uh, boiling water should be where you are located. Um, so we'll check here in, in Miami first, and then we'll we'll check another one. So there's two sites that you're gonna need. Uh, one of them is actually from ThermalWorks, so it's gonna you know we we can do it exactly here, and the other one is Wonderground. So the first thing we got to figure out is your local pressure and elevation. Uh, so we're going to go in here. We're in Miami. We're going to click on full forecast. And here we're going to see two things. Elevation, like I had said before previously in the video, it, uh, my, you know, there's not much elevation here. So elevation is 20 degrees. And then oh, I'm sorry, 20 feet. And then the pressure that we're looking at. So the pressure is going to be a little lower here pressure is 30.12 so we're going to change that 30.12 and we're going to calculate boiling point and there you go 212 degrees 212.31 if you want to be exact uh, so let's take a look at another one um, let's take a look at denver for example so in denver elevation obviously much higher so elevation would be 54.10 and then the pressure, let's go a little lower. Pressure would be 2971. 
so 29.71 calculate boiling point 201 degree so this is very important to make sure that you look at uh, what your boiling point is uh, again we're talking about here almost a 10 degree difference um, that's a pretty big difference when we're smoking meat or when you're cooking a steak or you know cooking chicken that's the difference between raw and, and not so make sure you look at this uh check it out it, it's very quick to do and that's a quick and easy way to see how off your thermometer is i think that's an important thing to do maybe once or twice a year just to see how what your thermometer is reading so that you can get an accurate temperature for your for whatever it is that you're cooking all right See you on the next one.